I love my Bamboo H2D printer and I love the build plate that Bamboo provide free of charge with all their printers. This thing sticks really well. I was really impressed with it, especially speaking to friends who've got 3D printers and they're always telling me how things don't stick properly to the build bed. And I don't really print too much complex parts. Mainly I'm printing things for YouTube, filming, stuff to do with my hobbies. And I don't really want to learn a new hobby about 3D printing. But recently, I was really struggling to print a part when I broke my Oculus Quest headset. And I needed to print a new part for it to basically repair it. Now the part kept failing on the bamboo printer bed. And then a company contacted me weirdly around at the same time saying, we have a print bed that is really sticky, can print, stick absolutely anything. And I honestly didn't think I'd be making this video. I honestly didn't think I'd be making a video about a 3D printing build bed because it's just a sheet of metal that sticks parts to it. But here I am making a video about a build bed and why I like it and some things I'm not too keen about it. But more importantly, you. You've been watching this channel for ages and you still haven't clicked subscribe, so go down there and click subscribe now. So why didn't I think I'd be making this video? Well, quite simply, BQ, who make these plates, messaged me and just said, we're going to send you some plates, no obligation to make a video about it, here's some free plates. And I just thought, well, okay, I've got some backup build plates. If I don't need, if I need a plate, I've got a spare backup plate. If I damage the bamboo one, great. I'll, I'll take free spares for no return or no need to make any content about it. And I honestly didn't think I'd make a video about a build plate. But when this part kept failing, I washed the bamboo plate, it failed again. I scrubbed the bamboo plate, it failed again. I tried some more dish soap and washed it again, it still failed, and then washed it, scrubbed it, and washed it in alcohol, uh, an alcohol isopropyl gel rub system that's worked perfectly fine in the past on, on you know friends plates and stuff like that. And again, it still failed. So it clearly was nothing to do with how dirty or clean the plate was. I flipped it and everything. It was clearly the plate wasn't sticky enough. So I thought, well, let's give this plate a go. They've sent it me, it's free. Let's just give it a go. And it worked straight away. So I did it again. I reprinted another part, the same part, but I dropped the temperature of the build bait and it, 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 it did it again. And then I dropped the build plate temperature again to 30 Celsius and it, it printed again perfectly. I mean, this part is just basically two very thin lines on the build plate. The, the nozzle runs down left and it runs down again. And it was built up like this and it just worked perfectly. I tried it with the time lapse on, time lapse off, which is the same as again what I did on the old build plate and it just kept failing. The, it's sticky. I mean, what more can I say? It sticks colder. So the bamboo plate, I was warming up to 55 Celsius. This thing, I'm only warming up to 30 Celsius. So basically in the middle of summer at the moment and the heat inside the temperature with the guns running, it's basically ambient temperature inside my H2D uh, print bed. So what don't I like about this thing? Well, first of all, um, the barcodes here at the bottom don't do anything on a bamboo printer. It just basically doesn't recognize this. It doesn't know what it is. And it, you have to basically either turn off pre bed detection and set the bed temperature automatically every time you do it, or you just press ignore and press continue and basically have to keep changing the bed temperature all the time. So that is where my next gripe is because it is not detectable on its barcode that they've set it as. It means that you've got to keep fudging around with using the Bamboo Studio. You can't really use Bamboo Handy unless you keep a constant eye on your printer and you're constantly changing down that bed temperature. You can run it at 55C, it will print, it's just very, very sticky. And the whole point of this bed is it's gonna save you money. Now, like I said, this bed can pay for itself. If you're running at 30 Celsius, 30 Celsius is a lot lower temperature to run your bed temperature at, and it will cost less money to heat up, should mean that you get faster print times. H2, H2D heats up really quick, so it's not a problem for me, but some other printer beds might take a while to heat up to 55. This being a 30C temperature, you know, that you can basically start heating the bed to, could mean a lot of printers print a lot faster with these beds, basically. Now, you're gonna ask me what the name of it is. I've forgotten, it's called Cryogrip Pro Frost Grip. 
And I think it's called frost grip because it just basically 30C is almost the te well, it is the temperature inside this cabin with the temperature of the nozzles anyway. Um, means that, that you don't really have to heat the printer bit at all. It, it's just ready to print for me straight away. Now, that does mean there's another problem, which is if you use a brim on any prints, a brim might not come off this printer bed because it is super sticky. I mean, literally very sticky. I even struggle to pull off the little pre sort of filament that it squeezes out the start before every print. So just bear in mind, if you do use a brim, it might not come off if you're heating the bed above sort of 40C, 45C, and you might have to really scrape it off. That does also mean that if you use bamboo handy, like I do tend to be printing stuff on my phone, some of the models might come preset with a brim already and you don't want a brim, which means that you might have to mess around in Bamboo Studios or another editing suite to turn the brims off. That's one of the few annoying things about it, but many stuff prints without a brim. Now, there is a couple of other little teedy little bits that can annoy me about it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the color, to be honest. Um, they do do other build plates. Like they have sent me other build plates. In fact, I dropped those. Uh, they've sent me one that looks very much like the bamboo plate and then another one. Now, these two other build, build plates I will be testing when I finally have a material to test it with. It just happened to be that I actually need something that was super sticky to print the Oculus test, uh, basically repair part that I had that wasn't sticking to the bamboo plate. So as soon as I have stuff that needs to be printed on these two build sheets, I will print them. I believe that these also have AR barcodes on that hopefully the bamboo printer might recognize. But if you are after a super sticky bed, I can recommend it. There's a link down below in the description if you want to buy the right one and use the referral link that they gave me for it. And if you want to see more about the bamboo HD printer, uh, see the, my review of it right there.